come out here, we're walking out to the field. We have the glider and a big ball. I set the glider down like this. I see there's a wingtip here. I kind of set the wingtip over here. See this wingtip? I kind of set it over here. I let go of this big lump here, walk back, flick the risers back, and I leave some loose lines. That way I can open the glider up as much as possible. I want this glider open as cleanly as possible into the wind. So that's something you could do to help increase how easily it comes up. It just shut off. The screen just went black. That's okay, it's still filming. Okay. Very good. So I'm just gonna open it up as much as I can, as into the wind as I can. Just like this. Because you can do this, and all it's gonna do is help you. Bingo. Then, I'm gonna go back to the risers over here. You can come over here. And I'm gonna grab the risers. I'm gonna pretend there's a few twists. First thing I'm gonna do is lift the riser up and kind of shake it. You can see it looks like there's a twist here. I'm just gonna untwist that. Make sure the A is on top. Sometimes lines appear like they're on top of it. They'll just fall right off. Shake this. Notice that there is a brace. Gold. Tang gold. Notice that there's lines on top. I'm gonna untwist it. Shake it a little bit more. See if it's untwisted. Untwist it one more time. Shake it a little bit more. That appears free and clear. Now, if I'm going to hook into it reverse, I just wanna flatten that out just a little bit, there we go. I'm going to hook into it reverse. I'm going to bring both tips of the risers with the A's on top to me. While it's all free and clear, hold these tips, flip a 180 degree to the right, hook in here, hook in here. If I'm going to do a forward launch, I'm gonna do a little snaky McJakey or whatever we'll call it, where I kind of slither this over here, slither this over here, slither it back, and I just kind of go back and forth with these towards the glider until I get about halfway. Then I personally set it so the A is facing away, and the A is facing away. I then get my motor on, I walk back over here, I'm standing here, I bend down, I know I need to keep this part, which is the A, facing forward. So I just put the visual in my mind, all right, there's the riser, that's how I want it. Hook in right there, bingo. Here's the riser, I want it facing like this. Hook in right there, bingo. Now it's sitting like this, where the, uh, let just move that out of the way, where the uh, tri tri trim tabs are in front and the brakes are in front. I'm just going to do it with one for now. I'm going to bend over, grab this brake toggle, pull it off of the magnet, take my hand behind the riser, hook this A hanging out right here next to my leg. It'll probably be down here next to your calf, but, and lift the riser up onto my arms. I want the riser, lift the camera up just a little bit towards me. I want the riser on my arms, not over my, under my arms like this. I want it behind my arms, not in front of my arms, because when this comes up, then my arm's gonna be in an awkward place. So I go under, I hook this A, the riser's on top of my arms, I'm now ready to go and do a forward inflation. Bingo, bingo, boingo. We're good.